Hello everybody, my name is Ash. And I'm Jake. And today we're going to play roulette with the ClickBot car. So it's pretty easy. We just have to twist the back tail of the car. There we go. And the car will go forward and stop on one of the signs. Okay. For example, this one. Three strips for Ash. That means you have to make yourself a beard with the paper strips. Okay, that'll be funny. Let's do it. Oh, one for you. One for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. Ash, five for, five Ash, for me. Five for Ash. Oh, three for you. <laughs> oh. One, two, three. three. Okay. Ah, uh, one more for you again. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! You got me just with one. Twist <laughs> okay. slowly. Ah! Ah! Good. Oh no, too much. Oh! <laughs> but that was fun, Jake. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> okay, let's go to the lab and learn how to make the robot. Let's go. So we can make just any random ClickBot car, mm -hmm. and then we just have to add a little tail to it. The tail can be any module. The key is it just has to have one joint. I see. So we would need to let ClickBot know how fast this joint turns. Exactly. And the joint acts as its own sensor. It can tell ah. how fast the rotation speed is. Smart. So let's move on to today's lesson. All right. So let's figure out how we're going to program this bad boy. Mm. So let's do three different speeds. The okay. high rotation speed of the tail, medium speed, and then slow rotation speed. Okay. And then wheel speed for each. Sure. So first one, mm. if we rotate the tail at the fast speed, like seven rotations per minute, okay. And then the wheels will go at a fast speed. So like 200. That's about 200. That's pretty yep. fast. <laughs> okay. Else if we rotate the tail at a medium speed, so four rotations per minute. Okay. So then the wheels will go at medium speed. 100. Sure, 100. Finally, else if the rotation of the tail is like one, pretty slow. That's about one. So that's our low speed. And then the wheels will go 50. 50, okay. Yeah. Mm. And finally, else the car just stops, doesn't go. Oh yes, of course. We need an else at the end. So I think the logic is pretty much similar than the last lesson. And, um, but there's something new, which is we're using a new sensor, which is the joint. And also we're comparing this rotation speed to a real number this time. Exactly. Okay, so let's move on to the real programming. Let's do it. Start with the loop, just yep. like last time. Yep, we need to run it more than one time. And also a if clause. Start with the if clause and let's add two more else if clauses. Okay. And don't forget to close it out with one final else. Okay, done. The frame is here. So what's next? Now we have to find the function to detect the rotation speed. So look under sensors. Okay. Yep. The and rotation speed of the joint. Uh, which one is it? I found it, but Jake, I cannot fit it in. Seems the shape are different. All right. Do do? So the shapes don't fit. So mm. remember, we have to compare the speed uh, with the speed detected with a real number. So we need a comparison oh. operator. Okay, so operator. this one is the operator. Ah, yes, this fits very well, there smart. We so I just need to pick another number module here. Okay, done. Got it. So number X, number... Okay, it's number six. Number six. Or more than... So more than the high speed, so seven. Seven, That's what okay, said. cool. Now we need to say, mm -hmm. what is it going to do? So then the wheels will go at a high speed. So 200. the wheels of the goes for 200 round per minute. Cool. And the four wheels will be here. And remember, the two sides of the wheels are actually running at a different direction. So as you can see, the CW and CCW. At 200, right? 200, that's pretty fast. Okay, so how, how long, long? How long do the wheels move for? Maybe like 
two seconds? Two seconds, okay, good enough. And uh, I think we need one more thing, Jake. Uh, let's do this two seconds. I think we need to let it wait for another half a second or the click ball will just flee away. Uh, good idea, right. We don't want it to run away as soon as we start to twist Right, the tail. so we add another delay four between the twist and the reaction. Let's mm -hmm. say 500, which is half a second. Yeah. Good enough. Half a second's good. Cool. I think now we can just duplicate for okay. medium and slow. So let's duplicate the first one here and change it to four. Four, okay. And here is a tricky way you can select duplicate all blocks, expand block and next. So you can directly copy and paste three instead of just one. That Smart. Huh? <laughs> okay, and again for the slow, here will be one, right? Yeah, let's do one. Okay. And the same here. Oh, wait, I forget to change the rotation speed of the wheel. So, so for medium? Fast is 200, so medium 100. 100, okay, sounds good. Okay, and then we just duplicate them again. Oh, oops, I should do Let's duplicate all. Expand block and next. And then for slow, let's do 50. 50, okay. Okay, last but not least. Finally, else? else nothing. Make nothing. sure the car stops, zero. Okay, then I just duplicate this one and make it zero. Okay, I think we're done for the programming. Let's test it out. Let's see. Okay. All right, slow rotation. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And medium speed. Oh, pretty good. Very good. And let's not try the fastest, okay? We, we just have a small table. We don't have the space. <laughs> cool. So yeah. I see in sensors, we have other options like pressure on the smart foot, yep. the distance from the IR sensor, mm -hmm. and even the rotation speed of the wheels. So we can play with all of them. Ah, very good. Let's try out more. Get over here. I want it on my side. Ah, uh, may the force be with you. <laughs> I, 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 I got it. I, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, so close. On, come on, come on, come on, come no. on. No. Done. <laughs> Oh, we had so much fun with a lot of sensors today. That's the magic of good programming. Yes, and I think the future global common language is programming language because the future is all about robots and machines. Exactly. So if you have any good ideas or designs, please don't hesitate to share them on the community with everyone else. So until next time, bye-bye.